Maxwell Chikumbutso's story begins in Harare, Zimbabwe, a bustling city full of life and energy, but also a place with challenges. Resources were often scarce, opportunity was not always equal. It was here, amidst the vibrant tapestry of his hometown, that a young Maxwell's mind began to buzz with ideas. He saw the needs around him, he dreamed of solutions. Even as a young boy, Maxwell was different. He wasn't content with just playing games, he wanted to build them, he tinkered with scraps, he salvaged discarded electronics. His playground was a world of wires and circuits, his toys were the tools of innovation, neighbors and friends saw a spark in him, a relentless curiosity, a drive to understand how things worked, and more importantly, how to make them better. Little did they know this determined boy from Harare was about to embark on an extraordinary journey. A journey that would challenge conventions. A journey that would push the boundaries of science and capture the imagination of the world. School for Maxwell was more than just textbooks and exams. It was a training ground for his ever-growing fascination with electronics. He devoured every physics lesson. He absorbed knowledge like a sponge. Teachers recognized his passion, they nurtured his talent, providing him with space and encouragement. Maxwell's early projects hinted at the groundbreaking work to come, he built rudimentary radios from spare parts, amazed his friends by bringing distant voices to life. He rigged together makeshift alarms for his neighbors, using his inventive spirit to enhance their security. Each successful creation fueled his desire to learn more, to push his abilities further. His bedroom transformed into a laboratory, a sanctuary where discarded electronics found new life. Every gadget, every broken appliance represented a puzzle to solve, a challenge to conquer. His parents, though puzzled at times by the ever-growing collection of electronics in their home, marveled at their son's dedication. They saw his passion. They knew he was destined for something special. They just didn't know how extraordinary it would be. Maxwell's quest for knowledge led him beyond the realm of conventional electronics. He became fixated on a question that had baffled scientists for generations. Could we harness energy in a cleaner, more efficient way? This question consumed him driving him to explore the uncharted territories of energy generation. His research led him to the concept of radio frequencies, a form of electromagnetic energy that filled the world around us. What if, he wondered, this abundant, invisible energy source could be captured and transformed into usable power? This radical idea became his obsession. He spent countless hours studying, experimenting, and refining his theories. Slowly, painstakingly, Maxwell Chikumbutso's vision began to materialize. He developed Microsonic Energy Technology, a revolutionary system designed to harness radio frequency waves and convert them into electricity. It was a symphony of science and innovation, a testament to his unwavering belief in the power of human ingenuity. This technology, he believed, held the potential to revolutionize the world. The Saith EV Rolling On Innovation With Microsonic Energy Technology as its beating heart, the Saith EV was born. This wasn't just another electric car, it was a radical departure from conventional automobile design. The Saith EV promised something revolutionary, a vehicle powered not by traditional batteries, but by the invisible energy that surrounded us. Maxwell's invention was met with a mixture of awe and disbelief. A car that could run without ever needing to be plugged in seemed like something out of a science fiction novel, but Maxwell was undeterred. He knew the potential of his creation. He had poured his heart and soul into every detail. The Saith EV was more than just a car. It was a symbol of hope, a testament to the power of human ingenuity to overcome seemingly insurmountable challenges. It represented a future where transportation was not only efficient, but also sustainable. A future where dependence on fossil fuels could finally be broken. As Maxwell took the Saith EV for its inaugural drive through the streets of Harare, he knew he was on the cusp of something truly extraordinary. Facing the doubters, Maxwell Chikumbutso's groundbreaking work did not go unnoticed. The scientific community, however, greeted his claims with a potent mixture of skepticism and scrutiny. Many dismissed his inventions as mere fantasy, arguing that his claims violated the fundamental laws of physics. Accusations of fraud and trickery followed. Critics demanded proof, challenging him to reveal the secrets of his technology. Some saw him as a threat, a disruptor to the established order of energy production. They scoffed at his claims, their skepticism echoing loudly in the halls of academia. But Maxwell remained undeterred. He knew the truth. He had seen the impossible become a reality. He responded to the doubts not with anger or defensiveness but with patience and a quiet confidence. 
He invited scientists to examine his work, urging them to see the potential of his technology firsthand. He knew that true innovation often required a leap of faith, a willingness to embrace the unknown, a legacy forged in determination. Maxwell Chikumbuzo's journey was not without its obstacles. He faced financial struggles, skepticism from the scientific community, and even threats to his safety. But through it all, his spirit remained unbroken. His belief in his vision never wavered. His story is a testament to the power of perseverance, a beacon of hope for aspiring inventors and dreamers around the world. Maxwell Chikumbuzo dared to challenge conventions. He dared to imagine a world powered by cleaner, more sustainable energy. His legacy extends far beyond the realm of automobiles. It lies in his unwavering belief in the power of human ingenuity. It lies in his courage to pursue his dreams even in the face of adversity. And it lies in the hope he has ignited in the hearts of countless others who dare to dream of a brighter future. Maxwell Chikumbuzo's journey is a powerful reminder that sometimes, the most revolutionary ideas are born not in the gleaming laboratories of elite institutions, but in the minds of those who dare to dream differently.